they had some really good performances last night by some individuals, Dan, um, uh, Tone, but I'm not buying it. I'm not buying the whole manly path. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not into Ooh, it at all. Oh, like, oh, Des, here's this. Look, I, look I, I just think they're, um, they're flat-track Don't bullies. Don't bump into him at the Girdler's Grind. Manly. <laughs> oh, Des won't spend anyway, so he doesn't bump <laughs> in, so I'm not losing a customer. Can you but just, look, just I, back up, Sparky? You, the words you used were flat-track bullies. Yeah, look, uh, there was a relevant question there. They haven't beaten anyone in that, uh, in that top echelon of teams so far this year. Now, they've played Penrith on a couple of ki- times and got beaten convincingly. They played Melbourne a couple of times and got beaten convincingly. Last week was an opportunity for Manly to come out uh, because if you look at their last six or seven weeks, their run in was all against bottom sides and they built a little bit of momentum and they got a little bit of confidence. They came up against the side in a semi-final and the chips were down and they got, they, they absolutely got torn apart by Melbourne. Then all of a sudden, and they played South early in the year, they got nowhere near South Sydney. And the, it's not so much about the score lines, but the performances were, were poor by key players. Now, they came up against a side last night that's been decimated over the last six months and the Roosters, and everyone knew what was going to happen. They're a good side when they haven't got a lot of resistance. But again, um, I can't believe Manly are one game away with the season they've had from playing in a grand final. I think their best well, I, and worst I, I, I can't are so far Roosters. apart. I can't believe the Roosters were one game away given their season. I, I, I think the fact the fact that this is kind of just a such a season we'd never end last year in the pandemic. It's I think the the the, the teams that um, have adapted best up in Queensland, and I think Manly are one of them. I think Manly because there was a story about two weeks or three weeks ago how the players don't see Des for the first two days of the week, and it's kind of a Des free zone because he's every time you see him wants to talk about footy. <laughs> I just think it's this new competition, and I take what you, I take exactly everything you say on board, Gerds, and I, and I it's a, it's a good point you make. And the bloke who asked last night about the top five teams was a good point as well. But this this whole new competition now, like I didn't expect South to beat Penrith last week. No, that come from nowhere. So I'm expecting the unexpected in these finals. And the other thing I'm disappointed about Tony while yeah. we're there is okay. the fact that the two best teams, and and you know, take away my. Obviously, my alignment with Penrith. Yep. The two best teams in the competition can't play in the grand final after last week. And, and whether that's a system, and I don't want to go into the systems or whatever it may be, we're going to have South Sydney, who played brilliant against Penrith last week. Mm. And we're going to have Manly, who we just spoke about. One of those sides that have had periods throughout the year, they've either been totally dominated by some of the better teams in the competition in the grand final. Now, we might get a grand final if these two teams go out at Hammer and Tong next week. That... If Penrith and, and Melbourne and someone performs there and, and or, or the Eels can push their way in, someone goes through on that side of the draw, could be a really lopsided grand final True, as well. But you can't manufacture it so that the two best teams from the season play each other well, in you, the grand you, final. You, if they, if Penrith go out in straight sets or go, lose two, two of their first, two of their three finals games, how are they one of the two best teams? Well, They're consistently out. They're gone. throughout the year, they've been you know the top two teams in the competition. But, but they only finished what two points I, out of South in the competition un- ladder. Understand? It wasn't a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. So. I'm just talking about consistently through the games throughout the year, win loss. Hmm. Are you saying that Melbourne and South uh, Penrith weren't the two best teams in the competition? I think if you take the whole season as a whole, and if Penrith get knocked knocked out in the prelim or even get knocked out yep. today, no, they're not one of the two best. I teams. actually think South have been the best team in the comp since they've beaten. They got beat by Penrith at fifty six to twelve. I think they've been. I'm not, I don't know about the stats, but I think they take that um, loss against Penrith out a couple of weeks ago, and I think they've been the team that I've looked at and go, "Whoa!" And I and I put a line through them. I put a line through them once Latrell was uh, suspended. I said, "There's no way they can win the comp." Yep. There's no okay. way I expected them to do what they did last week to Penrith. One triple three five three. If you're a Manly fan, you want, you want to have a chat with Gerds. I mean, I think I think Manly. You know, if Manly get through South next week, yep. and Penrith and Melbourne bash each other in oh, the prelim, yeah. just say or Parramatta and Melbourne bash mm. each other. Manly's a chance of winning. I, I wouldn't put a line through Manly. I think they could win the grand final. I mean, they've got, you know, Tommy has a big outing. Daly, I think Daly Chair Evans is in unbelievable. Good, I think Daly's form. form has been overshadowed yeah. by Tommy, but I think Daly's we'll been shortly. against who though? Playing who? In which games? Against Melbourne? Well, I now, mean, you did, t- now you tell me about the form in we which didn't know his best those, game against Melbourne. Yeah, that's no right. And then you tell me about their well, last. I wouldn't half say he was terrible. You tell me about their last half, and half a dozen games going into the finals and who they were against, and then not, tell me who's in great form. But that's not what and it's how about. How relevant good. that is! In it's the about finals. being your best 
at the pointy end of the exactly. year. Exactly. Were they at their best last week against good opposition? No, they weren't. We'll, tell you, we'll walk through this side with me for the Roosters. Nothing okay. against the Roosters. They've been outstanding all year. But yep. walk through that and tell me that's a side well, that not. deserves to be playing for a prelim final. Well, got smashed. Exactly right. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't so deserve to be So what form are you final. taking into consideration when you tell me Manly can go on and win the comp? <laughs> well, because they finished fourth. They've been, running in, they've been running in the country. They're not even in the city yet. Oh! oh. What about the Titans? Well, the Titans are one game away <laughs> from getting the second week of semis it. last week True. after winning 11 games all year. It's, 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 it's the different – like, fight your ass off to get to the finals, and then it's all, all bets are off. Because mm. once you get to the finals, it's a whole different comp. Yeah. For those Manly fans who are disappointed with what you've come up and, uh, and said, <laughs> I, I should just even out uh, because Gussie Wallen was here before, and, of course, he's very, very disappointed that uh, Roosters were beaten. He's a massive fan of that club. Yeah. Uh, and he was talking to Gerds, and he was saying, well, you know, look, I'm happy with how they went. And Gerds basically said – no, nah, they were really disappointed. I thought they were, I, I, I think you've got to separate their season, which has been amazing, and their performance last night. But I thought you, they were disappointing see, last night. Couldn't you not see the exact moment Gus Wallen's heart broke <laughs> <laughs> while you were saying I apologise, Gussie. I apologise. But I think, Robert, I think the Roosters fans would be – there was a lot, a lot of unforced errors in the early part of their game, and I think they're a better side than what they showed last That's night. That's actually true. I mean, they, they had uh, repeat sets against them. They had Ikevalu got a penalty, which is a little bit dodgy, but they, yeah, so they that was started – yeah. It was all over.